Hello everyone, Jordan here, and today we have another tutorial for you guys, and today we have an Airbus A350-900. Now this aircraft, as you can see right here, along with the 747 that was in, I think, two days ago, I did a tutorial on that. Uh, the aircraft is 65 blocks wide, 66 blocks long, and 18 blocks tall in total. If you do choose to use this aircraft, uh, feel free to make repaints for it, stretch it, whatever, make the 1000 model, we don't really care. But if you do use it in any shape or form, please feel... Well, please don't feel free. Please credit the Aero team for their hard work and whatnot. Now, just a little FYI. Now, this tutorial can get a little confusing. And at some points during the wing, I simply just say, this is what it looks like. Build it. Now, that's a little bit hard, but if you can do it, good job. Now, I highly recommend you have a separate device with you so you can pause it on that device and then look at it and build from here. If you like to use the texture pack that I'm using, we have that on our Discord server. The link to our Discord server, server excuse me, is in the description. If you like to join our Minecraft server where we have all of these things for you to look at and see and whatever, we have the Aero Team IP in the description as well. Anyways, let's begin with the tutorial. Okay, so for the first layer of the aircraft, we're going to be doing the landing gear. So as you can see right here, you're going to place a wool block, a black wool preferably block and put some buttons on the side of it and then you're gonna go back 26 blocks in total so one two three four so on and when you get past 26 you're gonna end up right here so once you're at 26 go back one more block and then go out by three so as you can see this is what it is so 20 the 26 block 26 block is right here you're gonna go back and then you're gonna make a little shape like so as you can see pretty simple and we're gonna build upon this later and um, yeah so this is a three by two two wool blocks, two stone slabs in the middle, and two wool blocks behind it. Place buttons on the side of those and yeah, you should be it. And we can move on to the next layer. All right, so now we're adding the struts to the landing gear. So as you can see, just place a cobblestone wall on top of the first nose gear wool block. And if we come to the back of the aircraft, simply just place a um, cobblestone wall on the outer side of it. Place a cobblestone stair upside down right here. And over on the side of it, place a stone brick stair like this and a stone slab behind it like this so this is the shape you're going to create right here you're going to do the same thing but only on the opposite side for this side of the aircraft and um i forgot to mention once we get towards the actual fuselage of the aircraft i'm going to cut it in half and everything you do on one side basically just flip it over to the other side uh that's so we can go faster and we can cut down on time all right so we're now at the fuselage of the aircraft so what we're gonna do first as you can see with the landing gear we're gonna add another strut so add another cobblestone wall to make it taller and once you've done that get a quartz stair and place it upside down on the side of it like so now once you've done that you're gonna go back 16 blocks in total including this one right here so go forward one block right here and then you're gonna go back 16 so one two three four five so on and so on and you're gonna end up right here so once you've ended up right here go over one to the right and then just fill it in all the way over here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna basically stop and fill it in like so see so this is what the shape of it should look like and um, quick FYI I think I forgot to mention this as well if you do not if you're not in a texture pack that has the wool colors that we have like this it's perfectly fine to use quartz it's it works so that's the alternative but continuing on um, right here once you do this go inwards by three so one two I'm sorry one two three place a quartz stair facing this direction right here and so forth next up you're gonna get white wool and actually starting right here if you can build out and go out one two three if you can end up right here, it's a little confusing, yes, but you see, you ended right here, skip two blocks, and then go out here, so, yeah, you're gonna go back 15 from here, so one blah 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 blah, and you're gonna end up right here, so you're gonna basically do a 15 by uh, 4. So, let me get the wand tool so I can kind of show you what I mean. So, basically, you should have this shape. Yeah, this is the shape you should have right now. And basically, you're going to just simply fill it in like this. So, yeah. Now, what you do right here is you're going to place a purple stair, purple stair or a quartz stair, depending on what you're doing this in, right here upside down, and another one right here like so. So this is what it should look like on the underside there. And I can get rid of this. 
All right, now once you've done that, at the back of the aircraft, you're gonna add another layer right here of blocks. So just one, two, three, and you're gonna have slabs go over it. So three slabs right here, one, two, three. And then you're gonna add a purple stair and then just taper it off with two white wool at the back right there. So uh, this is what it should look like at the very back. The, how, how far back? The 15 blocks back stops right here. Add another layer of wool right here, stair, and then two wool there. I'm sorry, two wool right there. Now once you've done that, you're gonna start right here. So you're gonna go back 11 blocks. So including this one, one, two, three, four, blah, blah, blah. And the 11th block will end you right here. Taper it off by adding another layer right there and you should be good to go. Come inwards by four blocks. So one, two, three, four, and you're going to have a quartz stair right here. All right, so continuing on, that's basically it for this layer. Um, if you're just watching the video, you should be able to comprehend what I'm doing, as you can see what I mean. Now, another detail before we forget, if you go to the landing gear, um, basically create this shape right here with the quartz blocks going inwards. So, uh, like that. Now, uh, what else do I need to do? The uh, beacon light. Get a uh, brick slab right here. As you see how the quartz blocks end right there, just place it right there. Another detail I want you to add now is on the underbelly. So you see where we start at the 15th block right here? Go inwards one and place a upside down stair like this and also place a button right here. So yeah. I think other than that, I think that's it. So um, yeah, this was a bit confusing, but we can move on to the next layer. All right, so building on the next layer, as you can see right here, we're gonna start right where the nose gear door is, and we're gonna go outwards by three. So one, two, three. You're gonna place an upside down stair, and then you're gonna place two right here. Once you've done that, you're gonna place a slab right here, and you're gonna go out by one wool block, and you're gonna go back 16 blocks in total. So one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth, and you're going to end up right here. Now once you've done that, as you can see, you remember these layers right here? You're gonna place a quartz block, I'm sorry, a uh, stair upwards right here, and you're gonna place a slab right here on top of this slab. So once you've done that, you're gonna go out one more block. This is where the wing box is, and you're gonna go back 16 blocks. So one, two, three, four, so on and so forth, and you're going to end up right here. Now at the very back of this, you notice you're gonna still have these two purple slabs. Well, not purple, whatever slab you're using. You're gonna have two slabs right here remaining over. You're going to place a perp. I keep saying purple stair, and I don't. I'm not like not realizing you might be using quartz. But to carry on, place the slab you're using right here, and place another. I'm sorry, a stair right here, and place the slab right here. We're gonna go inwards by one block, and you're gonna go back 11 blocks in total. So from right here, one two, three, four, five, six, so on and so forth, you're gonna end up right here. Once you've done that, I want you to place a upside down stair, place another quartz, not quartz, I can't get these blocks down. Place another wool block right here, and what you're gonna do here is you're gonna place a quartz block, or whatever block you're gonna be using for your exits, it could be cobblestone or something, and then right there. Uh, you're also going to place a slab right here, and a block right here, so yeah. Once you've done that, just place a slab behind the, the um, exit, and you're gonna place two white wool, three right here, and then two, two, in terms of slabs, so. Really, if you look at this, you'll be able to get it down. That's not that hard, but, yeah. So, for detail, once you're right here, from right here where the wing box starts, go inwards by two blocks, so one, two, add three buttons right here, and if you go back to the front where you start to go out, skip these first two blocks, add a button, and right here, right after the upside down stair, add a button right there. Other than that, I think we are ready to move on to the next layer. All right, this is the layer right before we start adding the cockpit detail. So as you can see right here, you're gonna add a stair on top of the upside down stair right here, only this one's upright. Now at the nose of the aircraft, place a slab right here and then place two wool blocks right there or whatever block you're using right there. Next, you're gonna go back four blocks when you're extruding out, so one, two, three, four. Place a slab right here, and now you're gonna go back 41 blocks in total, so one, two, three, four, five, six. It's kind of far, but you're gonna end up right here. So once you've done that, you're gonna add three slabs to the end of it, like this, 
Oh, yeah. This actually should... No, don't course that. I'm sorry. And once you've done that, you're going to go inwards by five. So you're going to go in one, two, three, four, five. Place two slabs at the end of it. Go inwards three, one, two, three, one, two, two, two for the slabs at the back. And uh, yeah, this is actually a little cargo door that's right here on the 350. And it should be small and basically like this. But yeah, that should be it for there. And there's actually no other real details you need to know about other than putting a button on top of the first button right here. But uh, other than that, that was a pretty simple layer and we can move on to the next layer where we start with the cockpit. Alright, so moving on to the next layer, this can get a little difficult so be sure to pay attention. Now what we're going to do right here, as you saw this was from our last layer, we're going to place, cob I'm not cobblestone, we're going to place slabs right here. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to get some blocks. So let me get black wool. Now, I prefer you get black wool, but if you don't have black wool stairs, which a lot of you guys probably don't, it's perfectly, it is perfectly fine to use nether, I'm sorry, nether brick. So, I'm going to be using black wool because our texture pack has black stairs and slabs. You guys probably don't have that, so this is acceptable. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to create this little pattern right here, and you're going to fill it in with light blue terracotta inside of it, the uh, Airbus blue. Behind it, you're going to place a stone brick stair like so, and that's it for this layer on the cockpit. Now once you've done that, place another purple slab, or whatever slab you're using right here, and you're going to place, oh, over here, two wool blocks following it. Now, you're going to extrude out, and on the very first block, well, slab right here, you're going to place a quartz block. Now in total, we're going to go back 46 blocks, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you're going to go all the way back, and you're going to end up right here after going back 46 blocks. Now what you're going to do next is you're going to go inwards by 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Place a slab inwards 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2. 2 slabs. 2 slabs. Now we're not done yet. We're going to be actually adding the exit base. So at the very at this block right here, add a quartz block. Now starting from the front of the aircraft, you notice how this was a quartz block? That's because it's the forward exit. So add a quartz block right here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go back 13 blocks. So as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, wait, let me actually count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's how it works, including this block right here and including this block right here. So technically, it's 11 blocks in between. So go 11 blocks from this here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And on the 12th block, place a quartz block right there. We're going to do the same process right here. And we're going to go in 18. So from right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And on the 19th block, you're going to place a quartz block right here. Other than that, I think we are good to go for this layer. So, next layer is the windows and the cockpit. So, let's begin. Alright everyone, so we're now beginning with the cockpit of the aircraft, as well as the windows of the aircraft. Now, what you're going to do here is, if you remember, we had these um, blocks right here. So, what I'm doing is, I'm going to place these here, and then right here, I'm going to place this facing this direction here. Next up, I'm going to place a nether brick stair upside down like so. Do I need to do anything else? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, let me check this on this aircraft to make sure I'm doing it right. Yep, okay. So once you've done that, you're going to place a nether brick slab on top of it like this. Now, that's pretty much it for the cockpit, actually. Now, moving back, we're going to place a white wool block behind the upside down stair, nether brick stair. And you're going to place a purple slab or whatever slab you're putting, putting right there. You're also going to place a quartz block right here and place a button on the outside of it because this is an exit. Place another block of wool behind it like this and then place a purple slab right here. You're now going to go back 43 blocks in total right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way back here. You're going to end up right here. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this. So basically, you see where we had the exit? Just go up one block and add quartz. The same thing right here and the same thing right here. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to get a um, 
stair block. Now either it's quartz stair or purple stair, whatever you're using here. And you're gonna be having it face this direction here. You're gonna make it go all the way back until it touches this exit. And then you're gonna flip it and go the other direction like this. And you're gonna go all the way back. Now, instead of having it touch the exit like this, I want you to place a wool block right there. Now, go behind this and then, just like this one, keep it facing this direction. Don't flip it on this one and go all the way back and it should end right here. Once you do that, place a slab on the top of here. Then you're gonna go back in seven blocks in total. So one, two, including the quartz block here, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you're gonna go inwards. So this is a little bit of a weird shape, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna place a white wool block here. You're gonna get a stair, face it this direction and this direction, so it looks like this. This thing right here is for the stabilizer trim where it moves up and down. Next, just add three blocks right here and then add one block right here, a quartz, I'm sorry, a cobblestone block and a button at the back of it. We're also gonna add a, um, start in the horizontal stabilizer, so add one, two, three, four, a stone brick right here, another stone brick going up, another stone slab going up, stone slab, I'm sorry, yeah, cobblestone. Now you're probably curious what these things are here. They're iron trap doors. Now you might not have this texture right here, but if you do, just place some blocks right there. And uh, other than that, we can get started with the next layer. All right, moving on to the next layer. As you can see right here, we're gonna just add some basic detailing to the top of the fuselage. So at the nose of the aircraft, place a quartz, not quartz, whatever slab you're using. Place two slabs right here. Next, you're gonna go black with wool, so add two, and then three, and then right here, add a slab, stair, and you're gonna go back 44 blocks in total. So right here, start one, two, three, four, yada, 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 yada. You're gonna end up right here. Now once you've done that, add a stair, and then add three slabs right here. You're gonna go inwards, and you're gonna go back five, so one, two, three, four, five, and then you're gonna add four slabs, so one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and add a cobblestone slab on top of the APU. You're also gonna place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks of wool right here. Now, you're probably seeing this quartz, and this is the interior I was talking about. Like, this right here is like the ceiling for the interior, so technically you shouldn't have this right here. But, I made an interior for it, so if you want to, I mean, this is what the interior looks like. It's not insanely detailed, but here's the interior, and, you know, it's not, it's not much, but technically, I mean, if you guys are building this without an interior, then it should look something like this. Like, hold on. It should look like that. Excuse me. So, yeah, this is what your airplane should look like right here. All right. Nonetheless, I think we can begin with the... Actually, I'm sorry. We can begin with the next layer. All right, this is the layer where we will be completing the top of the fuselage. So what you're going to do right here is you see that we have two white wool blocks in a pattern of this and this. What you're going to do is you're going to place a purple slab or whatever slab you're using right here. And then you're going to make a three by, well, technically it's going to be a three by something. It's going to be like this, but it's two blocks here. And you're going to go back 44. So one, two, three, four, five, go all the way back over here. And you're going to end up right here, which is in parallel to this. You're going to fill this in all the way in. Now go inwards by one block, add a quartz stair in the middle like this right here. And then you're gonna add a stair, block, stair, and then place a button on top of it in the middle right here. Uh, this is for a SATCOM antenna right here. Now if you go inwards by five, so as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, you're gonna place a little bit of snow right here like this for a little bit of detail. You're gonna skip two blocks after the snow and you're gonna place a stair like that. Now, we're at the tail of the aircraft, so what you're gonna do is starting right here at the very back, you're gonna go, this is two blocks right here. Go out, up two, go out, up two, out, up two, out, up two. So basically, one, two, three, four, five, two. So two, 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 two. two. Now once you've done that, you're gonna have three blocks on top. So one, two, three, 
place a slab right here, and then just go straight down with stairs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven stairs. So basically seven stairs down. You're gonna add a wool block right here, and make sure you have a slab right there. And that's pretty much it for the tail. So yeah, I think that's actually it for the entire fuselage. So yeah, we can now start with the wing of the aircraft. All right, it's time to start with the wing. So if you go right here at this purple slab, I'm sorry, stair, right here, or whatever stair you're using, you're gonna go inwards by two blocks. Next, you're gonna go out and you're gonna place a stone brick stair right here. Oh, I'm destroying everything. Under that, I put an iron trapdoor right here. Then you're gonna go three, three stone slabs, and then one, two, three, four, five, six on the bottom right here. On the last one right here, make sure it's double. You're gonna place a stone brick slab like so, and then one right here. So two blocks here, and you're gonna place two stone slabs like this, and then just finish it off with five, I'm sorry, six stone slabs on top like this. This is also where the landing gear is too, just so you can see where it is. So this is what it should look like there. I know you, I know you guys built like the full landing gear system over here, but I mean, you guys have it look like this right now. I don't know if I also mentioned that you need to place a slab or a nether brick slab on top of it like this, but if I didn't, my apologies. But this is what your thing should look like right here. Actually, let me make sure I have all of this so you can see what I'm talking about. So yeah, this is what your rig should like look like right now. Yeah, this is what it should look like for you. So yeah, we can move on to the next layer. All right, so this is the next layer of the wings. So as you can see, we're gonna go back one and we're gonna place a, stu a smooth stone block. Now you're gonna place a torch right here. Now this is what our torch textures are. You guys probably don't have this, but just place a normal torch. Or if you don't have this and you don't wanna do it, just place a button right there. But we have this texture, so I'm putting it there. Next, you're gonna place five stone slabs on the top and on the bottom. You're also gonna place a iron trap door right here. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, as you can see right there. Next, you're gonna place two stone slabs. You're gonna place a stone brick slab right here. And on the landing gear, you're actually gonna place another little um, cobblestone wall that's taller like this. So yeah, it should look like that. Next off, you're gonna place two stone slabs right there. And that is it for this layer. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Time to move on to the next layer. All right, so for the next layer right here, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna have a cobblestone block right here. Now these are slabs, so just place the block right here. And you're gonna need one, two, three, four cobble, not cobblestone, five, my apologies, smooth stone blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna place a stone brick slab right here, a normal smooth stone, a, I'm sorry, a normal stone, stone slab, my apologies there. And you're gonna place another one right here. As you can see, this is actually where our it should look like this for you on the underside. Place a stone slab here, place a smooth stone block there, and place a door, right, not door, a um, stair like this. So this is what it should look like for you. And yeah, we can move on. Well, here's what it looks like here. This is what it looks like down here, at the top. And this is what it looks like on the bottom. So yeah, let's get started with the next layer. All right, now this layer looks a little confusing, but I'm gonna break it down and it can get pretty simple once you see what I'm doing. So we're doing two layers in one. So right here, add another cobblestone block and you're gonna add one, two, three, four cobblestone, not cobblestone, smooth stone blocks right here. After that, you're gonna add one smooth slab right here. I'm sorry, just one stone slab, two smooth stone blocks here, one slab, and then one brick slab at the back of it because the Airbus flap track fairings have this distinct like red tip at the end of them. So on top of it right here, you're gonna have two um, slabs. You're gonna have a stone brick right here. And then this is the slabs that we were working with earlier. Now on top of it, you're gonna place three, well, I'm sorry, three slabs right here. Now over here, you're gonna have cobblestone slabs. So in this pattern here, two stone slabs, two smooth stone, actually three smooth stone, a stone brick right here, another smooth stone, slab and then four right here two three four so this is what it looks like on the side this is what it looks like on top this is what it looks like on the bottom right here so and right here so yeah i think we're ready to move on to the next layer all right the next layer is this and as you see we're actually going to build the engine now too so right here it's a little hard to get in but you're going to place 
Let me actually get him right there. Um, two stone slabs right here. Two right here. Two right here. Two right here. And this time you're gonna place stone brick slabs right here. And instead of two on top, you're just gonna place two at the back. You're gonna do basically the same thing, but from the back. So two here, and then right here, two. Do that again. But right here, we're gonna place an upside down stone brick stair. Then we're gonna place three smooth stone blocks. So one, two, three. And then you're gonna place three white wool blocks. I'm sorry, four. So you can't see it, but there's one, two. I'm sorry, three. So one, two, three, like this. Next, you're gonna get a uh, stair and taper it off like that. At the nose, you're gonna place a stair and then stare, and then just like that. Place black wool with a um, oak button to signify the uh, yellowish spiral for the Rolls Royce Trent XWVs. Three blocks right here, and then on the bottom, you're basically just gonna repeat it. So three here, block, block, block. And then at the back, place another brick slab, and then place iron trap doors right here with a stone brick. You're going to put cobblestone block right here, and then you're going to tape it off with a cobblestone wall right there with buttons on the side. And that's actually the engine right there for you. So what else? I forgot to mention the pylon. Yeah. So what you're going to do right here is just place one, two, three, four, and an iron trap door right here. Now if you don't have an iron trap door, you can just place a button or something right there, but yeah. Next up though, right here, we're just going to place one, two, three, and then this now these are smooth stone blocks slab stone brick slab block just like that not block slab so this is what it looks like on the underside I'm gonna just pause around this and if you guys are confused I'm gonna stop the video so you can just look at it and recreate it if you need to so this is what the underside should look like this is what it looks should look like from here actually and from here the engine if you have any if you had any difficulty with that the engine on top and this is what it looks like from the top so that was a pretty difficult layer but if you were able to master that we'll move on to the next layer all right so now we're building on the wing and as you can see this is a pretty simple layer so you're just gonna place some cobblestone blocks right here you're gonna place slabs going up and basically I'm just gonna show you what it looks like on the bottom and on the top because this is a really simple layer so this is what it looks like on the bottom right here we're just gonna have go two two three these are all blocks by the way so three block block this is also a block right here and yeah anyway this is what it looks like on top of the wing right there this is what it looks like on the bottom of the wing right here and this is what it looks like from over here. It's a, it's something where if you just looked at it, you'd be able to get it. Because, I mean, you guys are good at this. I don't know how you do it, but you're good at it. So, over here, here's the top. So, yeah. That's what it looks like. And this is where we should be for the wing. This is what it should also look, look like from the back. So, yeah. This is where we should be. All right, time to move on. All right, this is the second to last part of the wing. And this is a little difficult. So, what you're going to do here is you're gonna, I think we went over this right here. Two slabs there, you're gonna have cobblestone one, two, one, two. And basically, here we go again. I'm just gonna show you what the underside is. This is the iron trap door, by the way, right there. So this is the underside of the wing right there. This is what the top of the wing looks like. And uh, remember, we started from right about here. This is where we started, so right here. So here's the top of the wing right there. Here's the uh, side profile, here's the back of the wing, here's the uh, front of the wing, so yeah. Alright, and here's the final layer, so here's what the wing looks like on the underside of it, it's really simple, it's just two, one, one, one. Here's what it looks like from here, and this is what it looks like on top, really simple, really, really simple. Um, on the left side of the aircraft, place red carpet right here, on the right side of the aircraft, place lime carpet so if you're on the left this right this but we're on the left so we're doing this and this is what it looks like on the underside now when you get to the winglet what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some stairs and actually I think that's it so you're gonna place three right here three right here one upside down stair stair 
one on top right here stare stare like that and that's the winglet right there and that's pretty much the entire wing of the aircraft right there now we're not done yet there's just one more thing we got to do and that's the horizontal stabilizers right here so as you can see one two two one one this I'm gonna just show you this because it's a really really simple thing to build so that's what it looks like on top and this is what it looks like on the bottom of the aircraft and this is what it looks like again on top front profile and aft profile and yeah pretty much that is it ladies and gentlemen that is how to build your very own Airbus A350 900 now I do understand completely that this lit tutorial had some parts where I was utterly lazy and I wanted to quit one but um if you were able to pass through it then you're great now oh I just forgot cargo doors wow so yeah it's a two by three so one two three from right here on the other side so one two three just place this shape right here and at the back of the aircraft it comes from right here so anyways thanks for watching this tutorial I know it was probably a bit hard but if you were able to power through it then kudos to you so anyway thanks for watching I'm Jordan see you in the next episode